Hello everyone, my name is Chaitanya and today I'll be talking about joint speech recognition and audio captioning. This is a collaboration between uh, CMU and Sony. So to introduce uh, our task, we look at automate, automatic speech recognition uh, and the end-to-end -end ASR is usually a speech sequence-to-sequence uh, -sequence task that transcribes human speech but often like the real world speech samples are contaminated by background sounds. And therefore like to have a holistic understanding like we would require uh, a description of the speech content as well as the non-speech content. And the non-speech content is uh, tackled by the automatic automated audio captioning task, which generates a natural language description of contents in the audio samples. For example, it can be something like a male speaks and birds chirp while music plays in the background. And uh, audio captioning uh, together with speech recognition provide a holistic understanding and better interpretability of the audio. Such integration can improve the video viewing experience, especially uh, for the hearing impaired. To give an overview, like we are motivated by the fact that like uh, the ability of an ASR model to adapt to the various like background sounds actually determines its performance in noisy environments. So this makes like the speech recognition and uh, audio captioning tasks interdependent as both are ta tackling like different uh, modalities within the within an audio sample. And both of these tasks are also audio to text generation tasks. So it is uh, it is intuitive to think of them as a joint modeling framework. Now, a challenge uh, for this task is that like we do not have an audio data set with both uh, speech transcription and an audio captioning uh, audio caption labels. So our contribution is that like we first attempt to jointly model uh, speech recognition and audio captioning as a multitask problem, and we prepare a synthetic uh, multitask data set by combining clean speech and captioned non-speech samples. And we also propose joint modeling approaches that outperform the independently trained models. Now coming to the multitask uh, synthesis, we synthetically mix uh, transcribed clean speech with captioned non-speech samples. So some of the data sets for speech transcription is Wall Street Journal, Libri Speech, and so on. And for audio captioning, they are audio caps, clotho, and so on. So in this work, we mix uh, 37,000 samples from uh, Wall Street Journal and uh, 46,000 samples from audio caps. However, the audio caps data set actually contains uh, speech samples as well. So we remove them, which are about like 20,000 samples. So we do this by looking for substrings like speak, talk, and their various forms like speaks, speaking, and so on. Now, uh, coming to the audio mixing process, uh, this is done in a random manner by first picking a clean speech sample X1 from uh, the speech recognition corpus and a non-speech uh, sample like X2 from the audio captioning corpus. We first like normalize their amplitudes to minus one to plus one range. And then we mix them using the scalar mixing weight gamma, which uh, can be between like 0 0.1 and 0 0.8. So essentially gamma controls the amount of background sound because it scales the non-speech sample. So uh, we do the mixing by essentially randomly picking a, a slot in the larger uh, audio sample which is equivalent in length to the shorter audio sample. So here, if X1 is three seconds and X2 is nine seconds, so we pick a three second uh, time interval within X2 randomly, and we mix the X1 in this uh, portion. So let's look at, uh, let's uh, hear the speech transcript. Volume fell last month at furniture and department stores. And let's listen to the uh, non-speech audio sample. So we can listen that uh, 
wind is howling in the background and uh, there's like a dog barking as well. So when gamma is 0 0.1, our uh, mixed audio is something like this. Volume fell last month at furniture and department stores. Now the maximum 0 0.8 gamma uh, sounds like this. Volume fell last month at furniture and department stores. So this is the amount of variation that we consider in our data set for, uh, for a noisy speed sample. Now, traditionally, uh, these tasks are modeled independently. So we have a SAR only model, which uh, trains a, which typically is based on a transformer-based encoder-decoder framework. And recently, more popular are the RNN transducers. And these models are like optimized using CTC loss and attention loss. And they are often integrated with pre-trained language models, especially during inference. But we do not consider these language models in this work because we want to compare the baseline performance of the independent modeling versus our proposed joint modeling frameworks. The uh, audio captioning uh, only task is also based on a transformer based encoder decoder framework. However, like we do not use CTC laws in this framework because there's a lack of temporal alignment between the audio and its corresponding caption. Now the proposed joint modeling frameworks are twofold. Like the first one is a simple concatenation of the speech transcript and the audio captioning word sequences. For example, like we could uh, concatenate the speech transcript first and the audio caption next and separate them using a separation token. Or we could have the audio caption first and the speech transcript second. And the second approach is a dual decoder framework where we have a separate decoder for speech recognition and audio captioning. And we can see that uh, framework in these pictures. Now, concatenating output sequences is actually uh, is similar to a previously studied approach called serialized output training. And in our work, like we essentially, uh, so WCAT represents the concatenation of the word sequence of speech transcript first and the audio caption next, separated by a separation token. And uh, we can also concatenate the word sequence in a reverse order, which is WREV where the audio caption is concatenated first and the speech transcript is concatenated next. There are a few drawbacks with this proposed approach because the inference can actually become difficult because of the increased length of the audio sequence. And we cannot also strictly use like CTC laws because once we concatenate uh, both the speech transcript and the audio caption, there's a loss of temporal alignment. And uh, finally, like the decoder we are training is learning the transition, like the token transitions between ASR and uh, audio caption as well, but they actually need not be correlated. So we look at uh, dual output decoding where we have a separate decoder for uh, the speech recognition task and the audio captioning task separately. This model essentially is similar to assuming like conditional independence uh, given the input features and the model parameters. So the joint probability of the speech uh, transcript and the audio captioning is the uh, is the multiplication of the probability of the speech transcript and the probability of the word sequence of the audio caption given the input parameters and the model parameters. So this framework also allows us to use CTC laws and uh, we can integrate it linearly with the attention loss. This is, uh, this flexibility is actually the main reason that we look at uh, a dual decoder scenario. For our experiments, we uh, used, we uh, synthesized a data set by mixing 37,000 uh, speed samples from Wall Street Journal and 26,000 non-speed samples from the audio caps data set. And because we are using five choices for the scalar mixing weight gamma, uh, overall we have about 190,000 uh, training samples. We also set aside uh, 800 samples, 800 clean speed samples from Wall Street Journal and 600 uh, non-speed samples from audio caps. 
and they are mixed randomly to provide like the development and evaluation sets. And both our independent and joint models are trained on the entire data set and they're tested for each uh, mixing weight gamma separately. The architecture proposed is uh, a simple like transformer encoder and uh, decoder with four attention heads. The ASR metrics are uh, character error rate and word error rate where lower is better. <clears throat> and the caption metrics are cider, spice, and spider, which is a combination of spice and uh, cider and here higher is better now the overall performance without ctc on the entire evaluation split like over all the mixing weights is that uh, the concatenation of asr output first actually performs worse than the independently trained asr model however concatenating the audio caption uh, first and the speech transcript next actually outperforms the asr only model and uh, we see it generally we observe that the independently trained captioning model is performing worse than all the three uh, jointly trained models now when without using ctc let's look at the performance over each mixing weight separately so the, uh, this is the this table like corresponds to audio captioning task so the independently trained audio captioning model uh, performs like slightly worse over the dev set and the evaluation set like as compared to the jointly trained models. So we can see that here and the best performance is obtained by concatenating the audio captioning, audio caption first and the speech transcript next. Now the ASR performance when the model is trained without CTC is that uh, we have slightly mixed results for the development set and a more uh, better results like for the evaluation set and all the models like perform like quite well when we perform the concatenation the dual decoder is not performing as well like because we are not using ctc so to actually unlock the full potential of the dual decoder we use like the ctc and compared it with the asr only model which is also trained with ctc and here we can see that uh, most of the time like the dual decoder outperforms the independently trained ASR model, except for uh, the high noise scenario, which is like gamma equal to 0 0.8, and for the evaluation set like gamma equal to 0 0.6 and gamma equal to 0 0.8. Uh, we can also like test our models on real world like noisy speech. For example, like this is an audio clip from a duck hunting uh, video game. So let's listen to the audio sample first. Nice kill. Now that's a great shot. So as we can see, like the human ground truth for ASR is nice skill. Now that's a great shot. And the human transcript uh, for the audio captioning would be something like a man is speaking and gunshots are ringing out. So when we look at our dual decoder output like this i believe is the closest when it comes to the uh, as compared to the human ground root so it is nice feel now that's a great uh, break job so this is much better than the other models and we actually see that the audio caption generated is much more descriptive which reads gunshots fire and male voices with gunshots and blowing while a duck quacks in the background this is a very descriptive uh, audio caption as compared to a typical uh, audio caption like as a man is speaking and gunshots are ringing out. In conclusion, like uh, we, we observed that uh, speech recognition and audio captioning are interdependent tasks and they both generate like coherent word sequences and therefore it is intuitive to model them in a multitask manner. Uh, jointly, and we propose a process of synthesizing a data set with both speech transcript and audio captioning labels. And we also propose joint training, uh, joint modeling approaches that can outperform the independently trained models. Uh, feel free to check out our GitHub repository for data set creation and like model training. 
And in the future, like we are looking into annotating our own data set, uh, real world data set with both transcription and captioning labels. Thank you so much.